you must be compensating for something. We're all compensating for something. Some people choose distraction instead of action. That's the difference. The lonely reality of being ambitious in a lazy world full of simps. For those of you ambitious motherfuckers out there, this video is for you. I'm a very ambitious guy. Not traditional ambition necessarily. I'm not ambitious for the sake of ambition. I'm not ambitious so that others can see me winning. I'm ambitious because I want to know. No, I need to know the limits of my own potential. I need to know. It's been my primary driver, my sole mission and purpose for 13 years. And something I've learned about the ambitious journey is that we live in a lazy world full of simps, full of mouth breathers, only fan subscribers. <laughs> Nah, if you want to be ambitious in this world, you better get used to that. You better get used to the fact that people around you are not going to share your ambitions. People around you are going to be lazy. And there is an inherent loneliness to being ambitious in a lazy world. Carl Jung had a quote about loneliness that I really love. He said, loneliness does not come from having no people about it comes from being unable to express the things that are important to oneself or from holding views which others find inadmissible. This is the type of loneliness I'm talking about. You can be ambitious and successful and you can have great people around you. You can be surrounded by people. You can have a great social life. I've done that for myself. It was very important to me. And I know many other people who have done the same thing. It's not to say that you have to be alone, but you better pre be prepared to feel lonely in this lazy world because many people that you come across are not going to share your ambitions. They're not going to share your drive. This channel, Boss Life, me, Alex Walton, this is everything that I stand for and represent, exploring the limits of our potential pushing those limits, finding what we're truly capable of. And in the process, expanding the potential of all humankind, pushing the world forward through our example. So ambition is a beautiful thing. And if you're ambitious and you're here watching, respect to you. You have my respect because we are striving for something more, not just settling for what the world has to give us. No, we're going out there and taking it, making it happen. Taking the cuts. Welcoming being wounded in the pursuit of something greater. And that's a beautiful thing, guys. But many people are not going to relate to that. Many people, they simply want to get by. They simply want to be comfortable, remain comfortable. They just want a non-confrontational life. Just let me eat my food and watch my television shows and play my video games and like drink my beer and hang out with my friends and that's it. I don't want to face anything negative. I don't want to face anything challenging. I just want to get by. Well, that's not me. And if you're watching me still here, chances are that's not you either. So accept the harsh reality of the inherent loneliness along this ambitious journey that we're on because we live in a lazy world and the majority of the people that you meet are going to try to shut you down 
and convince you that your ambition is misplaced. You must be compensating for something. We're all compensating for something. Some people choose distraction instead of action. That's the difference. So I want to encourage you to continue to choose action. To embrace the loneliness. Because look, you can either be a part of the group and have a normal, average life. An unfulfilled life. You'll be part of the group. You'll be able to relate to most everyone. If that's what you want, you should probably bounce. <laughs> Leave the video and unsubscribe from me. Because we do not align. If, however, you are driven to know and manifest what you are truly capable of through execution, through challenges, through pain, through uncertainty, if you are committed despite those beasts that will inevitably pop up and swing their war hammers at your head trying to take you out, well then, it's an honor to have you here. It's an honor. And together, we can move the world forward. But think about it. Really think about it. If you want to be the king, how many people can the king truly relate to? Only other kings, of which, by definition, there aren't many. So do you want to be a king? Or do you want to be a simp? An average, unfulfilled loser. Staying within the comfort of the group. Out in the streets. Begging. Begging for someone to make it better. Someone else, please take care of me. And everyone else around in the crowd. Yeah, someone else take care of us. I don't want to have to work. I don't want to have to execute and face challenges and pain yeah i agree i agree you can have the seeming comfort of the group if you choose that route or you can have a kingdom it's your choice guys if you like this video let me know hit the like button subscribe Subscribe with the bell and leave me a comment below. Do you choose to be a simp or do you choose to be a king? If you choose to be a king, I want you to write, I choose to be a king. All right, let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here. And if you want to know a little bit more about what I've been up to over the course of this quarantine, where I've been crushing it, head over to quarantinedomination.com and download the blueprint. I'll see you in the next video.